and welcome to another Monkey Makes 3D modeling tutorial in Blender. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, as it helps the channel pop up in the searches. And here we go. Okay then, we need some way of organizing our references rather than scrolling through all the images that we have. Because these, like this, if you highlight all them and press enter. Rather than searching through these and thinking, oh, where did I see that one with the, the rear end open? That was a coincidence. I did not expect that to appear straight away. Bloody thing. <laughs> but it would be handy if we could put all these into a collage of sorts. And then we'd just zoom into the collage. See what? I've used PureF before. And I was convinced this was a paid program. But there is a section apparently where you can set the amount that you like to pay to zero. So in there, there we you totally get that you would like to try before you buy. So you go download that, install it, and then if you run the application. Type the right name, it would help. There we go. So you highlight your images and then just simply drag them in and that'll sort them out into an order. The smaller ones have less pixels, less dense. These are the bigger ones with bigger dimensions. Okay, so we'll do a right click see this like grey area here is unused space so we might as well just get rid of that so go to canvas optimize there you go that trims that down we can of course still add images to this once we get into a different part of the core we'll need more images on that so with that done do a right click again save and we'll just call that f40 let that save and then in here, next time you start your computer up and you go about to work, you just double click your F40 pure ref file there and that will load up this again. So with that done, next one will be the front end of the Ferrari. I do apologize, but all this is just to help making the modern process a lot easier for you. So, catch you in the next one. <laughs> 